I was first really diagnosed when I was about nine. Um, that's when they said that I needed to start doing something about it. And then um, we didn't really do much until I was 12. And at that time, my degrees in my curve had gotten to in the 40s. Despite the type of scoliosis, the one thing in common with scoliosis progression or the greatest risk factor associated with scoliosis progression is rapid growth. And since puberty has the most accelerated, most rapid growth, this is when we expect, expect to see progression. However, it's not as simple as that. Normally, it's what the curve is when you enter this stage of growth is the likelihood of how much your curve is going to progress. So the bigger the curve is when you enter puberty, the more likely your curve will worsen. So therefore, our goal is always to reduce the curve, get it as small as we can get it before puberty happens. So therefore, the risk of progression is much less. So we were thinking surgery was going to be an option. Honestly, I really didn't want surgery. So coming down here was like, Honestly, I was just like fingers crossed the whole time that something would come out of it because I just really did not want surgery. So my first round, I believe I lost six degrees on week one and then six degrees on the second week. It was a lot of reduction. Originally when I was young, it didn't really impact my life um, until I was 12 and then like coming here, then wearing a brace was my entire life really after that. Because I wear it about, now I wear it about 21 hours, but originally I was in it for 23 hours a day for two years. So it was a lot, especially with the sports I had going on and just normal everyday things. The good things about corrective bracing or scoli bracing is that to provide a corrective result. So since we're using the brace to actually push on the body and the spine to remodel the torso like we see with Lucy, it's also used for a reductive manner. So we can use the brace outside of this that limited scope. We can use it when they're younger, we can use it when the curve is smaller, we can use it when the curve is bigger, we can use it when they're even done growing because we're using this in combination with other treatments to get the curve to actually reduce and get better. Like with Lucy, when we were able to reduce her curve successfully with the combination of the treatments that we were using, she actually went back to orthopedic surgeon. The orthopedic surgeon said, oh, your curve's a little below 25 degrees. You don't need to wear a brace anymore. And the parents and Lucy and myself said, no way, because we realized or they understand that keeping constant pressure on the scoliosis and as we're using it as a corrective tool, even trying to reduce the curve less than it was, was a, still a goal. So we're not just trying to slow it down, we're trying to reduce it as much as we possibly can reduce it. So when they go into the adult stage, the curve is small as possible. The treatment itself is very like, I don't feel much pain through it at all. It's honestly, a lot of the machines are kind of relaxing because um, you can just like sit down and watch TV for the whole time um, and honestly fall asleep on some of the machines. But through that, you get to meet a lot of people. Like I've met people from Dubai, like just people all around the world. They're all really fun and really welcoming here. Um, I love getting to talk to them throughout the day and they're just, they're all just so sweet.